Good afternoon, after I want your hiatus on YouTube, I'm finally back. So, let's pump out a new video for you guys. So, I'm getting a new cargo bike, which is coming in this month, June. It's going to be my third electric cargo bike, which is going to be the Rad Runner. And I decided to build a trailer for it. Now, for my other old um, cargo bikes, I had like a garden cart. But I decided to make a custom trailer, which is going to be this long this is roughly what it's gonna look like it's gonna be six foot in length and about two foot in width <clears throat> so i ordered these parts like a uh, a wagon kit off amazon it ran me about 93 bucks um 100 bucks out the door with all the sale taxes and free shipping and then i had to buy all the lumber all these uh U bolts and all these screws and uh, trailer flags and bolts and washers and all of this other stuff to complete the kit and that ran me another hundred dollars at the Home Depot so two hundred dollars in total to make this trailer now my plan is to get um, two big black containers that I bought at the Home Depot and put one here and one here and then I could carry a shitload of stuff so yeah so this wheel chassis handle kit a hundred bucks all the lumber and screws um, another hundred bucks so two hundred dollars to make the kit delivery took about two weeks for this and then I spent another three or four days buying all our hardware at the Home Depot and there's a cat Sasa. So I'm hoping to have this built by the end of today, but we'll see. I'll film everything as I go along the process. Now I originally wanted to buy like a simple Amazon trailer, bike trailer, but they're like three or four hundred bucks. They're very tiny. They don't. They are only big enough to like transport like a cat or like a small little child. And they're flimsy and they're shitty. They're made in China for 60 bucks, but they're sold for like 400 bucks, which is a ripoff. And then I looked into a trailer called called the uh, Carla Cargo Trailer. It's basically this length and this width. Unfortunately. <laughs> They want $5,000 for their special trailer. For that price, I could buy three of my electric um, cargo bikes. So, yeah, that wasn't an option. And, I <coughs> and for only $200 compared to their $5,000 trailer, I could build the same exact trailer, which is the same length and width. And because I'm going to be using these type of wheels, my trailer can actually support double or triple the amount of weight that their trailers can because this is a steel wheel and their trailer uses um, your normal conventional bike wheel which those tiny little spokes can't really support much, much weight so yeah let's start with the building process Alright, so I finally have the wheel axles mounted exactly where I want them. Boom, that's the rear. And that's the front with the steering handle component. And I have no idea if the camera's gonna pick it up, but there's my mounting. There's my marks for my mounting holes that I have to drill out. So, yeah, here's the first step. Okay, so now I finally have all my holes uh, marked out where I have to drill them out in the axis. Hopefully the camera is picking that up. And I'm basically going to get one of these beams. And it's also been marked out. And yeah, hopefully you guys get an idea. So where the axes are on these beams, it will go onto the main beam once the hole is drilled out and then psh, bolt it like that, joint together. Welcome back. So today is day two. I managed to drill all the holes on the main beams. 
and I put all the um, chassis bolts to the beams, the wood beams, where I plan to mount this. So if all my measurements were correct, hopefully everything slips in with ease. And today is day two because last night I had to go out and buy more bolts, washers and nuts that I needed. I needed eight uh, bolts, eight nuts and I believe 16 washers, yes. Uh, eight bucks at the Home Depot, so... <clears throat> I'll make a video of the of this mounted and that back chassis mounted and eventually we'll get to all the tires and wheels. Alright, so this is day three of the project. Um, I managed to install these beams here on the main beam chassis. Managed to bolt them on last night. And it's day three because last night, or oh, not last night, but yesterday, eh, late afternoon, evening-ish, I had to go to the Home Depot and buy 12 nuts. Yes, more parts, and I had to buy some liquid for lock because I'm running out. So that's why we're on day three. And the reason why I had to buy nuts, because... I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but if you could see the threads don't fully go all the way down, it ends right there. So I needed these um, bigger nuts to basically kill the non threaded part. So then I could get my smaller nuts and screw them down. And then this loose nut is gonna push this down and not. Um, not get in the way of the non threaded part because it's, this is basically hiding it or spacing it off. So yes, yeah, so I'm gonna get this, the rear axle and the front axle bolted on. And once they're bolted on, we'll go ahead and install the, the wheels. So yeah, we're making progress, slowly but surely. All right, so we finally got the rear axle installed all bolted on same with the front axle and all four wheels and tires bolted on and as I was saying earlier um, my two bolt I mean my two nut technique worked for the unfreaded part of this um, bolt and then I had my fretted nut go down and push against the bigger nuts where it's unfretted and that worked perfectly um, oh yeah uh, where's better lighting yeah I don't know if you guys could see but um, um, the fretted part is exactly the same length as this nuts oh am I add the nuts that came with this with all these wheels are basically these cheap plastic nuts which I think is pretty ridiculous so I replaced all those four stock nuts with these better quality metal nuts and my idea was I was hoping that the, um, the wheel fretted shaft would be like an inch or half an inch at least longer but it's exactly the same size and I wanted a half an inch longer because I wanted to install zip ties just for an added measurement so that the nut wouldn't come loose. That being said, I wasn't lucky with the longer shaft, but I did blue fret lock the nuts. And for an added security measurement, <laughs> this is a little bit ghetto, but I think it's gonna work perfectly. I put um, glue, I used a hot glue gun and I put glue right on the outer part of the um, not with the shaft and I did that with all the four wheels so now hopefully they won't come loose now I'm gonna flip the trailer on its wheels for the first time ever and we're gonna install um, the handle so yeah so far so good 
Well, as you guys can see, I finally got the handle attached. Nice long handle that's gonna go straight on the back of my Rad Runner electric cargo bike. Whenever it arrives, yeah, it feels good. Feels good, nice and solid. <clears throat> All right, now I'm gonna mount two black containers on this and I'll show you guys how that looks like. And this is how it's gonna work once the containers are bolted on. They haven't been attached yet, but they will be attached hopefully in about 20 more minutes. <clears throat> and they're gonna be attached like this. With this U-bolt, it's gonna go underneath this beam and then this plate here is gonna go on the inside of this and then I'm gonna have two on one container in the middle and two on this container one on each side now I just have to drill the holes inside the container and the holes are gonna be for like that for this to go through and we're back this is basically the next day I have no idea how many days we're into the bell now I basically lost track but I had to go to the Home Depot once again yes and buy that bracket a few screws and three washers and we're about to bolt this on. I still have to, I marked where the holes are gonna be with a Sharpie, so I'm gonna drill out the holes and bolt the bracket down, and it's basically for my rear trailer flag. So yeah, I'll show you guys when it's all bolted down and installed. Well, there we go, after a few minutes, I finally got the flag mounted. <clears throat> got the bracket bolted on. Uh, Hopefully you guys could see I installed two washers the bolts and the nuts went on absolutely perfectly um, The bolts are about three inches in length all the bolts on this entire trailer are about three inches in length the flag um, these two foot um, side pillar supports two foot and also these, the, um, the wheel axle support is also 3 foot in length. <clears throat> the flag came with the flag. It came with three of these poles to make it longer. Right now I have it pretty short, but if I wanted to, I could make it three times the length. It came with this metal bracket. I got this whole flag kit on eBay for like 10 bucks. Very good quality. The bracket's metal, this is fiberglass, this seems to be decent quality. Um, yeah, I got this L-beam brace from the Home Depot. Zip tied it here, and then I got some, some of the good old trusty duct tape. Looped it around about three to four times, and yeah, it's, it's pretty snug. It's not coming off unless somebody comes and completely wants to pry it off, but <laughs> hopefully not. Well, yeah, that's gonna be it for me for tonight. Tomorrow, I'm gonna get these big containers and hopefully finally have them mounted on the trailer. And hopefully that's gonna be it for me. I've been going to the Home Depot like literally every single day for like a week now, just buying parts and accessories I need for this. So hopefully, and it's been killing like half of my days. So that's why the trailer progress have been, has been very slow but steady. But yeah, tonight I'll have a bath, a well-deserved bath, have a good night's rest and get ready for tomorrow. Round, oh I don't know, I lost count, round 20 of the trailer. So yeah, good night for tonight. Well, this is day 100th of the bill, I've completely lost track. <laughs> And yes, if you guys guessed it, 
You're right, I have to go back to the Home Depot again. I have to buy eight of these little guys. Oops, there we go. And that's because I'm finally getting the containers bolted on. I got the front one bolted on, but I didn't have enough of these for the rear one. And for, the, and for that reason is because, as you can see, it's fretted here. But down here it's not fretted, so I need these for spacing to allow the actual bolt to screw down, to push this down and push this plate down. So I need um, uh, four, two here, two here, four, and then I need another four for the other side. And once it's completed, it basically looks like this. Yeah. Boom. And boom. And as you can see on this side, <coughs> we still have to mount them. But yeah, the trailer is almost done. Five minute more worth of work, <coughs> and she's completed. Good afternoon and welcome back. Well, after two weeks of waiting for delivery, and two weeks going to the Home Depot back and forth, getting parts and this and that. The trailer is finally completed. So to sum it up, um, the length is 6 foot. The width is 2 foot. Um, the, I'm going to talk about the kit now. The tires, wheels, and the rear axles, and the front tires and front axles with the handlebar. This was about 90 bucks off Amazon, a hundred dollars out the door with shipping and handling. Uh, and the manufacturer for the kit is Mill Side. That's the front, and this is the back, which basically tells you the dimensions of the holes and this and that. Um, so, a hundred dollars for the kit. Now all of this stuff, the lumber and the containers and whatnot, all the lumber, um, the screws, the bolts, the nuts, the U-bolts for the containers, um, there's two of them. Everything from the Home Depot was about a hundred dollars. You mean the containers you see here? The containers are by, uh, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but it's by HDX, 102 liter, tough toe, um, they go for about $13 Canadian each, and they do come with three yellow lids, but they're downstairs in the basement. Um, oh yeah, and I also got this little bracket at the Home Depot, I don't know, probably like two bucks. Mainly for the flag. Now the flag I got it off of eBay for ten dollars. It came in three lengths. You get three poles. I basically mounted it like the shortest. But yeah, you're able to mount it like um, like here and super super high. They're about the poles are about like two feet in length each, and I got three of them. So this is two full, so you can mount it all the way up to six foot if you want to. I don't think I'll do that, but you never know. I did this reflective sticker for nighttime writing. I got the sticker, like a roll of this sticker off Amazon for like 10 bucks. I forget how many, how many feet you get, but it's a decent size. And then right behind the trailer is a Rad Runner cargo bike, which basically arrived yesterday in the morning, but I didn't have time to build it. Because as soon as I arrived, I was dead tired and I wanted to take a, a six hour sleep. And then after when I woke up, after my six hour sleep, I went to Walmart to buy supplies I needed. So yeah, and now it's the next day. So now I'm making a video of the cargo, not the cargo, but the, the trailer. How much does the trailer weigh? Um, I have no idea. I don't know how to really I don't really have a way to uh, weigh it. I'm gonna go probably about 90 kilograms. Probably the size, not the size, but the, the weigh of probably two hand trucks. How much weight can it hold? I think it could hold a lot of weight. I mean, these are like heavy duty wheels and tires. And the beam here is like 
it's like an inch and a half thick so you could possibly remove the containers and you could probably like put a scooter a gas scooter on this or even like a small 125 250 cc dirt bike and <laughs> um, I don't think there'll be a problem I think it'll hold it just easily so now that I finished making this trailer video I'm gonna make a video basically five minutes after this on the Rad Runner I'm gonna like um, unbox it I'm gonna build it and I'm gonna add like a milk crate or two with it I'm gonna do other modifications on it that'll be another separate video but yeah you guys could watch that video of the Rad Runner being unboxed modded right after the trailer video um, I do plan to make a video of me riding the Rad Runner with possibly towing the trailer when will that be I have absolutely no clue <laughs> but we'll see we'll see but yeah I'm very happy um, trailer came out perfect besides having to go to the Home Depot almost every day to pick up 10 things here and there that was the only little hiccup of the project well I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't call it a hiccup more like a necessary thing but besides that everything just went perfectly I didn't screw up on the measurements I didn't accidentally drill a hole where it wasn't supposed to be drilled um, surprisingly for the first trailer I've ever designed and built everything just went perfectly couldn't ask for anything else well yeah I think I'm gonna wrap it up um, if you guys have any questions about the trailer ask me I can't guarantee you if I'm gonna reply to everybody since I'm just mad busy but I'll give it a shot but yeah hope you guys enjoy the video